I'm gonna take it to a place to say a place you never see. I try hard and stay grenade, a car, a coop, it's in my neck, a place where people got a dripping from the head right down to feet. This is no fairy tale, man, this place. So you, the bravest heaven people in the universe you'll ever see. When we touch on the road, we don't afraid nobody. Drag a chain so you know that we're free from slavery. Let this full of spice. Planet Addy, where everybody welcome. Planet Addy, and everybody I'll do. Planet Addy, and we do it well I'll do. Hi and welcome back to my channel. In Grenada, we have an underwater sculpture park featuring almost a hundred human life forms in various poses on the ocean floor, 16 feet below sea level. I visited Prickly Bay Marina to see new sculptures designed for the expansion of the underwater sculpture park, as well as a gorgeous new mural by the local Nashan Jeremiah artistic team. To tell you a little bit more about the Sculpture Park, it can be found in Molinaire Bay in the area of Molinaire Boussoujour. It is the world's first underwater sculpture park. It is listed as one of National Geographic's 25 Wonders of the World and a marine protected area. This sculpture park was first installed in 2006. The original pieces were designed by British artist Jason Decares Taylor, but it has been expanded over the years with pieces by other artists. So Molinaire Bay suffered extreme damage from Hurricane Ivan back in 2004 and the sculpture park has provided a new base for marine life to expand and grow. This makes it a favourite spot for scuba divers and snorkelers. The life-size figures are surrounded by marine life and coral reefs, which enhances the unique adventures of a dive. The most iconic piece from the original sculptures is of a group of 26 Grenadian children in a circle holding hands. Some say it symbolises life and continuity although others say it represents slaves thrown from a ship during the Middle Passage. Since I filmed these figures which were on display at Prickly Bay Marina, they are now installed in the Underwater Sculptor Park. Just put Underwater Sculptor Park in Facebook or as a hashtag in Instagram where you can see the unveiling ceremony for the new sculpture, the figures being lowered into the water, and as they look underwater, it's thrilling and fascinating. And if you want to see the real carnival characters in action, check out my carnival traditional mass vlog. In the months leading to the installation, every Saturday at Prickly Bay, a representative from Dive Grenada would give a talk on the design and installation process. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to attend any of the talks, but I did sneak behind the fencing to get a closer look at the sculptures. So there were 31 new sculptures designed to expand upon the sculpture park that originally opened in 2006. On Jason DeKeff Taylor's Facebook, he says, Coral Carnival is a new large scale sculpture series drawing inspiration from Grenada's vibrant annual carnival called Spice Mass. The sculptural process portrays a range of symbolic carnival characters, each celebrating the country's unique culture and history. Created in collaboration with a talented team of local Grenadian artists, Jamila Francis Art, Frederick Teddy, and clear ambition art. So 25 of the sculptures were stylized to capture the essence of some of Grenada's most iconic masqueraders, including Jab Jab, Wild Indian, Fancy Mass, 
Short Knee and View Corpse. Painted with organic pigments such as squid ink and turmeric, the elevated details of feathers and hats aim to attract the colourful sponges and corals prevalent in the area. Jason also created two replacement sculptures, the Lost Correspondent and Unstill Life. These sculptures not only captivate the eyes, but also remind us of the vital connection between art and nature. There were also four more sculptures crafted by local artist Troy Lewis. These sculptures pay tribute to Grenada's heritage and culture. The Leatherback Turtle, Mama Glow, La Diablesse, and a ballet dancer. Acting as a backdrop to the sculptures is a mural by Nash and Jeremiah Arts team showcasing the vibrant marine life to be found in Grenada. I've featured Nash on several times on my channel, including a vlog on his largest mural to date called Project Hope, which can be found on the side of the old Reno Cinema in St. George's, Grenada. I love this Molinaire underwater sculpture park project. I love the fact that they are life-sized, that it represents a slice of Grenada culture, that environmentally friendly materials are used, and that they are modeled on real people. In addition, I would like to see the names and images of the people used to model for these sculptures displayed online. I did an online search but couldn't find anything, which is a shame because they did after all play a very important role in the project. I would also like to see more footage of the behind the scenes process of making these incredible statues. Not everyone enjoys diving or snorkeling, so not everyone will experience the underwater sculpture park, which is why, in general, I would like to see more art and installations throughout Grenada. Installations that members of the public can interact with and take pictures with, whether it be murals, lifelike figures, or modern art, there's just not enough of it around Grenada. I believe it would elevate tourism throughout the Tri-Islands. Recently, I was in the town of Liverpool in England and they had a river of light trail with art structures, lights and sound mixed together and the public can walk around it, through it and within it. And even though it was raining and freezing cold, 
people absolutely love it. I would love to see this kind of thing in Grenada. Public, outdoor, interactive art and installations. People love taking pictures with such things and it always looks impressive on social media. Grenada recently erected a Grenada sign where the cruise liners land, but only people arriving on the cruise ship and those working on the cruise ship have access to it. Us regular folks can't get to it, which makes no sense. Another one could have been installed on Granance Beach or maybe up north on Bathway Beach. At the moment, the only place to find a Grenada sign is at True Blue Bay Resort. People love taking pictures next to a name representing a place. We are very easily pleased. I look forward to Grenada rectifying this oversight and providing us with not only a Grenada sign that everyone and anyone can access, but just more public art and installations in general, which can be fun, but can also ignite one's imagination and inspire thoughtful conversations. Everybody welcome And everybody I'll do And we does it well I'll do The Molinaire Underwater Sculpture Park is possibly one of the best cultural initiatives ever produced in Grenada. A positive response to the devastation of Hurricane Ivan and a wonderful celebration of Grenada. And we just crash through the rivers, we take us of kings. And so we bad, so we gifted, so we talented. If you are look, we have just time for seven trade. The